these guys get nice and big and really, really grow. Hello friends, good morning. So I am actually sitting in front of a greenhouse right now. We are up and at it early today. We are planning to get most of the garden in today. I have the girls with me and we're actually meeting my mom and my grandma here. And I just need to get most of my vegetable plants. So if you are completely new here and you don't know what's going on, we recently moved to an old farmhouse and we are doing a lot of different things in the house doing a lot of painting and stuff like that so the garden has been a little bit of a challenge to get in and to really just get everything tilled and whatnot we actually ideally would have liked to put some more topsoil and just some other things on the garden but because of the time frame and wanting to get everything in we weren't really able to do that Corey did put a layer of compost on the whole thing and yesterday we did a lot of setting up we set up some trellises and just some of the posts and kind of got the rows figured out and I will be showing you guys all of that plus I'll be showing you some of the fruit um, bushes and trees that we have on our little homestead as well I don't know if I can technically call it a homestead yet but it's what our goal is we'd like to have some chickens and things like that we're getting there slowly but surely so this morning we stopped at a local really small hardware store and I got a second hundred foot hose so our garden is way up on a hill so of course that brings some challenges number one making sure that we can get water up there number two it's very very dry because most of the water you know trickles down off the hill so we do have to deal with that but I decided that this year is going to be a learning experience whatever we get out of it is whatever we get out of it and we're just gonna enjoy the process as we go so we're gonna go in here oh one other thing I wanted to add is the other reason that I'm getting a lot of plants is because we just had so much chaos going on with like painting and all the stuff we're doing in the house that I did not have time Time to start anything from seed and I just want to give my garden the best shot it has by getting some more mature plants since we don't have the best soil and so we're just kind of dealing with what we have so enough rambling let's go ahead and go in and see what all they have at the greenhouse Alright, so we are home from running around a little bit. We actually ended up going to three different greenhouses and just to find the different things we needed. This past weekend would have been the main time for people to really go through and plant and all of that. So a lot of places were sold out of certain things. So we just had to go and make a couple stops to get everything that I needed. And then we also stopped at a local creamery and the girls got some ice cream. My grandmother <laughs> bought them ice cream. They love whenever they get to see Gigi they don't live very close to us so it was nice that she could stop in and then she came here and I kind of showed her the house she hadn't been here before and all of that so now we're actually getting to the planting part of the day so I am going to go up I'm about to pull my hair back and I'm actually think I might grab my sun hat because the sun is starting to really really shine um, and I'm going to start planting I think once I have the garden completely planted so this video will probably go between today and tomorrow depending on what all I get planted then I'll do a tour of the garden and I'll also show you all like our fruit trees and what else we have here on our little um, home let's go head up the hill because we have to walk up the hill behind me to go up to the garden hey there friends I wanted to take a moment to thank Brooke Lennon for sponsoring today's video I have actually been eyeing Brooke Lennon sheets for a long time so I am thrilled to give you my honest thoughts on the sheet set and duvet cover that we got from them Brooke Lennon is 
is a luxury sheets company creating high quality home goods to elevate your home. In my experience with Brooklinen, they have given me a high quality product at a really fair price. As you all know from my two YouTube channels, I am constantly doing something. I'm always on the go. I have lots of projects, gardening, homemaking, and all of those things. So creating a bed that is absolutely amazing to crawl into at night is really, really important to me. I'm gonna be honest, I'm very, very picky whenever it comes to sheets and bedding. I like my stuff to feel rich and luxurious. And so I can honestly say Brooklinen definitely brings that quality when it comes to their bedding. I got their core sheet set, which does come in a wide variety of colors. Colors. I got this set in the print window pane. I just think that it's so clean and aesthetic looking. And if you guys could feel these, oh, they are just so soft and so cool feeling. I cannot wait to sleep in them. Now their core sheet set does come with a flat sheet, a fitted sheet that is made with very deep pockets to be sure to fit your mattress, and of course two pillowcases. Although I highly recommend getting their core set, they also have individual pieces. So if you need pillowcases or the flat sheet or the fitted sheet, you can get those things separately. Although if you purchase the core bundle, you will save 25% which is an amazing savings. Their bedding does come in a wide variety of sizes so you'll be able to find the sizes that fit your bed the best. The core sheet set that I selected is their Lux set which has 480 thread count and you can so feel it. As we are going into the summer season and like I said with gardening and homemaking you definitely want to sleep cool and peaceful at night during warmer months so I know that I'm going to be getting that with this sheet. However they do also have a few different selections of warmer sheets including some flannel sheets which I will probably be looking into as the fall rolls in. I may have done a little happy dance whenever I found this ginger color on their website. You all know that I am so into these browns, tans, and beiges right now and I just love this. It's going to go so well with my decor and it has that same amazing cool texture that the sheets have. And I know that whenever it comes to these summer nights, we are going to be loving these pillow covers and the duvet cover. All right, you guys, so it's been a little bit since we got our Brooklyn and sheets, and I wanted to give you an honest review after we've slept on them and tell you how much we like them. So as much as I figured whenever I opened up my packages, they are so soft, they sleep cool, they are just so comfortable, and they give you that amazing, just relaxing feeling at the end of the day that I'm looking for. Both my husband and I have really been enjoying them. Right now, Brooklyn and is having their Memorial Day sales and all Brooklinen items are 20% off through May 31st. So it is definitely a great time to stock up. So go ahead and click on the link in the description box to find your perfect set with Brooklinen. First thing that we did was spread the plants out throughout the garden where I wanted them before we made rows just to be sure that we had enough room and we were evenly distributing the plants that I had purchased. If you are a parent, I want to just encourage you to get your children into growing something, even if it's not a vegetable. I feel like it's such an important skill to pass on to children, plus it teaches them the importance of responsibility because if you don't nurture and water and take care of your plant, it is ultimately not going to thrive. And another thing I really love about gardening with my children is it's just a special time that we can spend together outside and we are just in the dirt. We're enjoying talking about how our things are gonna grow or watching things sprout. The girls have had so much fun seeing the things in the garden as they grow little by little every day.
Let's go. We have a couple more maybe for next year. If we get sick. The whole garden needs water. So if you want to go and fill up a uh, watering can and start watering all the peppers. Okay, so what are these? Hmm? Wow. Wherever you start, just keep track of where you're watering. Okay. I'll start on Okay, so when it comes to gardening, another thing you really want to keep in mind is there are certain plants that are going to do better as years go on. And things like asparagus, you can have them come back for 20 years and it continues to just make more shoots and more um, harvest. And this is some lavender and more than likely I will see these guys get nice and big and really, really grow next year and the next. But I wanna go ahead and plant them and get them started. So some of gardening is definitely thinking about the future, thinking about what you want when. Strawberries are a lot like that. If you guys are completely new to gardening, strawberries, you don't actually get berries the first year. And for the most part, depends on the maturity of the plant. Um, so this pot is kind of a little future gift to myself. All right, so I decided that I'm going to put all of my herbs in pots around the um, edge of the garden. And some of my pots have more than one herb in them, as you guys are gonna see. But one thing that you wanna keep in mind is you do want to make sure that you're planting herbs with friends. Some herbs don't get along, so if you're gonna do a pot where you have two or three herbs, wanna make you want to make sure that they definitely are going to get along and not um, hinder each other. And you can actually just Google it. Like I took parsley, what gets along with parsley, what doesn't, um, that kind of thing. So this here is like a curlier parsley, I would consider it to be. And then I'm also planting it in the same pot as my basil. And as you can see, this pot gets a lot of shade in the morning. And both of these plants, um, I, I read can do a little better with some shade and not as much sunlight, not drying out the soil quite as much. So I'm gonna fill this with potting soil and then we're gonna plant these in here. I would normally water this after planting, but I actually soaked these plants this morning. All right, friends, so I decided to sit down. The garden, the main garden back here is completely planted. Um, we have a few other odds and ends. I know this fall we want to put in a strawberry patch kind of behind our house. I still have to plant some tea that I'm getting some transplants from my neighbor and yeah just some little odds and ends and some of that you guys will see in the next couple of weeks in some other videos but today's focus was the main garden behind me and so it has been not quite a whole week since you guys saw that first day when i went to the greenhouse so i thought i would share with you what i've learned just in the first week of having some stuff in this garden so number one gardening on a hill calls for a lot a lot of water and i actually think i may have lost a couple of plants i don't know i'm trying to revive them just by skipping a day of watering and so that goes to show that we are going to have to really really focus on that we didn't get any rain this week but we're still not even in the hottest part of this gardening season corey told me this morning he actually ordered a tripod sprinkler so we will set that up up here we do have soaker hoses which you guys will see um, whenever i walk through the garden with you now um, and it's just going to take a lot of attention to that meaning every morning I'm going to have to come up and water things and just check what needs water um, and all of that which my neighbors that have gardened on this hill their garden is actually that direction also told me that I'm gonna really need a lot of water so it's not like a shock I think I just realized wow I can't skip a day of coming up and watering um, and the other thing that's really interesting is with the marigolds that I planted along the sides of the garden. So I planted a row kind of on the bottom half, the whole way to the other side. 
and then also on the top half and the top half ones are struggling so that just goes to show that a lot of water comes down this way for sure and so i'm glad i did my tomatoes on the bottom half where the slope is coming down since they're going to need a lot of water to just grow and make some big juicy tomatoes so we will see how all of that goes i just i am excited for this year but i'm also seeing that it's going to be a learning experience as well and another part of all of this and i've heard this before but i think actually being out in the dirt almost every day and really working on this is really spoke to me and that is gardening is such a spiritual lesson as well and how if you miss one day of getting into the bible and really connecting with your maker how you need that water every day. And it just spoke to me so much on not missing that connection and just really connecting and getting that watering from Jesus every day that I need. And yeah, just very convicting, it really spoke to me. So I just see how this whole thing of tending a garden is a lot of work. I have been loving it though. Um, and I think Corey has been a little bit surprised. I think he thought maybe I wouldn't like it as much as I've been, but there's just something really relaxing, even though it's so laborious, um, to doing this whole gardening thing. So anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to walk through the garden. Um, and then I'm going to show you some of our fruit and, um, then I will be doing some more projects with that probably in the next week or so and you guys will get to see that because you're going to be seeing a lot more videos from me in the next little while. I have a lot to share with you all just about life in general um, but let's go ahead and take a walk through the garden. All right if you hear some noises behind me um, the neighbors are working on their farm and I hear them over there. So here's the back of our house. If you guys watch my home channel that is the little um, screen and porch I just kind of did a makeover on and I wanted to put these chairs up here just to give me a little place to sit and then from there up the hill sorry I'm a little out of breath I had to run down and get another battery <laughs> um, we have the garden and you can see how big this area is it could potentially be fenced in at some point something like that we have our little fire pit way over there as you can see in the mornings like this this large tree above me gives a lot of shade and just a nice cool space. I don't know how the garden is going to take that, but we will wait and see. Um, it does get pretty hot up here in the afternoons, so I think it's gonna get the direct sun that it needs, but I didn't realize how much it was going to be shading the garden when we picked this spot. We thought about going up further but we'll just see how it goes. I mean, the worst case scenario, we end up seeding it in and moving it um, next year, but I think I think it'll be okay here. If you expert gardeners can let me know that. But so I kind of divided the garden in half with these chalices and made myself two walkways. So having the herb pots kind of dividing out the walkways here that go up the middle of the garden and on the, in these pots i have my different herbs so you all saw me planting that one there's my neighbor's garden over there that i was talking about down there is their farm so that's why um i can ask her a lot of questions about how things grow since their garden is pretty much parallel to ours um so this pot right here is the one you saw me planting and that has the basil and the parsley in it and then i'm going to go on one side of the garden and then we'll come back down and we'll go over on the other side so here i actually squeezed in a row of onions i had a bunch of onions left over the little starts and i just didn't want them to go to waste and i knew that with making salsa and stuff this summer i could definitely use the onions if they grow so we'll see how that goes this pot here has a pineapple mint plant in it it's so delicious we love mint tea so i actually am going to be making a large uh, tea patch down this way here this next week so uh, i have a couple different tea plants or mint plants that you can make into tea so these rows here are all tomatoes i think there is 
six. There is 14 tomato plants in this area here and I had gotten 10 of these spiral posts and then I realized I had more space so we just put in some wooden posts I could get close to me at a greenhouse and um, most of these are pretty half and half in being romas which would be like a, a paste tomato and then just some good big juicy tomatoes. I did a pretty big variety of different kinds so I'm kind of just waiting to see what does well and then what I want to do next year. The next area here I've got two rows of green beans in here. They haven't sprouted yet. Um, I'm waiting to see them sprout up and maybe I'll share that on my Instagram once they do. So if you guys don't follow me over there you can definitely go over there. This next row we've got some big gaps. I know it's a little hard to see with the shadows of the tree but here is the green beans and then up here's the next row so you see we've got this big gap and that's because this is spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash. It winters well so if you even if you get a huge crop of it you can put it in your cellar and you can keep it over the winter. So I have three plants here of that giving them lots of space to crawl around because they get really really big. Um, and then up here on these two mounded rows, I have sweet potatoes and I'm going to be honest, it got pretty cool this week. So I'm not totally sure how these are going to do. I noticed this morning their coloration was a little bit different. And if you are a pro at growing sweet potatoes, you can tell me maybe why I was thinking it might be because they got cold there. You can see that top leaf just is a little bit darker. So I don't know. We will see. This guy over here looks really good. He's sticking up. Um, okay, so here is another herb pot. And then this is my soaker hose. But I've got some chives in here. And then also cilantro. And I'm hoping they grow, grow, grow. Because I love chives on potatoes. So going out from that pot is another row of the marigolds. And I, I just can't explain how these look different than the ones on the bottom without you seeing them in person. But they just aren't thriving as well as the ones on the bottom. So this pot is a peppermint plant pot and I'm hoping that that really takes off. Mint usually does. Over from that I have some oregano and some dill and then over there is some lemongrass in that pot. So we'll walk around to that side but all of the trellises that are going through the middle of the garden they are all cucumbers and I am so excited to see how these grow. They're actually a few different kinds and the one lady I know from the greenhouse suggested to plant about two plants per rod which i had a few extras so i popped them in she said you'll just get more just the more you plant the more you're gonna have so we'll have to train these up the trellises and i do have some wiring i may end up putting some wiring in between just to give it some extra support we will see so we'll start at this top i don't know if you can see but these guys are just struggling i watered them really well this morning and i'm gonna have to probably get my soaker hose up here but it just with the side being a good bit higher it really drains out a lot and over here i have got a lemon balm in this pot along with a pineapple sage plant and i'm going to actually show you this so it actually flowers and um, the gardener at my greenhouse said that a lot of people love this just for decoration. But if you all could smell this, oh, it smells delicious. Kind of gives a savory type smell. She said some people use it in jams and jellies. I actually think I may use it in some meat marinades. It just smells so delicious. So walking back over here to our little pathway <laughs> down the other side of the trellises, I have got my yellow squash here. And then zucchini out here again giving these guys a lot of space to really roam and grow and then over here i've got a row of brussels sprouts and i have some organic spray coming for them because i already know my neighbor told me that a lot of bugs get to these along with the purple cabbages that's what i put in here i really love both types of cabbage but i read that purple cabbage is a little less prone to bugs than regular cabbage probably because of the color um so we'll see we'll see if these guys survive i know they can be really difficult we've got two rows of onions here and then here I've got a row of butternut squash and I'm going to be canning that up like pumpkin. My grandmother said she actually likes to can it like pumpkin more so than like a pumpkin pie pumpkin. So excited about that. I'm sure those will do well. 
And then over here is mostly peppers. I have some red and green bell pepper plants, some yellow bell pepper plants, um, a, a mini bell pepper plant. I have a couple hot, couple varieties of hot bell peppers, a jalapeno plant. I have a cayenne pepper plant that I wanna dry them and make my own cayenne powder. And then these three right here are tomato plants. These two are yellow tomato plants. And then that one there is like a grape tomato plant. Um, and so, and then we did finish out this row with a few onions too, because I just didn't have enough plants to finish the row. So we filled it in. And then over here on the end, I did one more row of onions because we just had more of them. And then in this pot, it is spearmint. Love, love spearmint tea, it's so delicious. And then down here is our last herb pot that you guys haven't seen. And this is a plant I may have lost due to lack of water. <laughs> and I have to really work with it. It's a thyme plant. You can let me know if you are a good um, herbalist and you do really well with herbs. Um, let me know if you think that that guy is a goner or if he will revive. But here is my sage and then this is rosemary for like barbecuing and grilling. It's actually called barbecue rosemary. Um, I'm excited to freeze dry all of these herbs. That's one of the reasons I decided to go ahead and do so many herbs and so many pots is because I have my freeze dryer and I know that I will really enjoy freeze drying herbs and using them in my kitchen throughout the year even when they are not fresh. So we're gonna take a little walk down the hill. Here's the garden overview. We're going to walk down this way. This is the side of the house. And this is where you will see how steep everything is. It's just incredibly steep down the back of this. Um, we had some challenges even getting my husband's truck up to the garden just because of how deep all of this is. So we have some plans for all of this. This was actually really, really bad and Corey really took care of cleaning a lot of this out. I think I'm gonna put my tea patch in here for garden tea um, and we are thinking maybe strawberries along here. That is our very nice mature blueberry bush. I can circle it then you'll know where I'm talking about and we're considering putting a couple more in here so we'll see but we'll have one blueberry bush that we can pick from and then we can go down the hill and this is also where our water hookup is so just to give you an idea this is the side of the house and up there you can't even see the garden that's how steep the hill is <laughs> and up there is our large front screened in porch and this is the entry to our cellar from the outside. All right, so this tree here is a very mature, large, very overbearing, not overbearing, but heavily bearing plum tree. And I'm going to pick some out because I know it's gonna be hard for you to see on camera how much is in here because they're the same color. But there you can see one of them. They are just all through this tree. So I'm going to have some black plums to figure out what to do with. I know I heard that you can make barbecue sauce with them. That's super exciting to me. Um, so we'll wait and see. And then over here, I also have a peach tree. It's a really small peach tree. So if you guys have any tips for me, but that is what we're pretty sure that it is. And it also has a lot of fruits on it that I'm hoping mature and actually we have some peaches. This is out our lane here. I'm just gonna kind of pan around. That's the farm over there and walk back this way. Here is the plum tree that I showed you. And then back over here is where we're going to actually have our raspberries. We have them all in pots for now, um, but we are going to eventually probably make a raised bed or something to plant them into next year um but for now this is how they all are in another video this next week i will be building a bird net over this because i know that the birds are going to have hay day and i actually need to get down here and water these today um but so there's three pots that one's a little hard to see under there but they have really grown a lot in the last two weeks since we brought them over here from my parents um, that's where they were at and they have already just like 
begun to <laughs> blow up and grow all over the place so um, yeah so we're just kind of finding little nooks and places where we want to put things and just be able to really enjoy growing things and have our place here so I'm just gonna show you back up the hill there's the two chairs that you all saw um, there's the garden and I just want to thank you guys for watching today thanks for catching up with me I was excited to share this outdoor work with you guys and of course there's so much more that's gonna happen but I just know that I wanted to give you a good overview before everything starts growing and then we can look back together and see how far the garden has grown and hopefully it does grow. It's hard when it's a first year garden, especially being on a hill. Don't forget to check out the information about Brooklinen below. I know that you all will enjoy their sheets as much as we have, and you can also take advantage of their sale right now. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment below if you are gardening as well this year. I'd love to hear how it's going for you. Give this video a like, and I will see you all in my next video.